Joe Biden's speech was standard issue, no clarity on the division that does indeed threaten the United States of America. Disappointing. Okay, so uh, I'll get to my analysis after I run in three sound bites from the new president. Soundbite number one, go. The dream of justice for all will be deferred no longer. A cry for survival comes from planet itself. A cry that can't be any more desperate or any more clear. And now, a rise of political extremism, white supremacy, domestic terrorism that we must confront and we will defeat. Now, is that domestic terrorism? Does that include Antifa and the Black Lives Matter movement? You see, if you're going to do the unity thing, you've got to put all the hate groups into one pot. But he didn't do that, did he? Soundbite number two, go. Politics doesn't have to be a raging fire, destroying everything in its path. Every disagreement doesn't have to be a cause for total war. And we must reject the culture in which facts themselves are manipulated and even manufactured. Okay, does that mean no more anonymous sources in the press to destroy you, Mr. Biden, or your predecessor, Donald Trump? Is that what that what does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, I mean, I'm a guy who deals in facts, so we must reject a culture in which facts themselves are manipulated and even manufactured. All right, so that's propaganda you're talking about, right? So where, where is that propaganda? Where does it lie? Is it Fox News? Is it CNN? Where, where is it? We don't get that. We don't get anything specific. And the final soundbite, go. Our history has been a constant struggle between the American ideal that we're all are created equal and the harsh, ugly reality that racism, nativism, fear, demonization have long torn us apart. The battle is perennial and victory is never assured. Through civil war, the Great Depression, World War, 9-11, through struggle, sacrifice, and setbacks, our better angels have always prevailed. In each of these moments, enough of us, enough of us have come together to carry all of us forward. Now, that was the best part of this speech, because that's true. If you look at the history of this country, we have always turned wrongs around. Not perfectly. And it takes a while to do that. Slavery is a perfect example. It took a hundred years for African Americans to get parity of opportunity in this country. It happened, but it took a long time. Depression took 12 years to turn it around. Okay, so summing up, whoever wrote Biden's speech wasn't going to be specific about anything. And that's a hallmark of Biden's campaign. He never says, well, this is what I'm going to do. All he had to say today would have been, I would like the people who want to impeach Donald Trump to stand down. I don't think that's necessary for our country going forward. I want to bring unity with the 74 million people who voted for Mr. Trump I want to be respectful to them. I want to be their president as well. So therefore, I'm calling for this thing to go away, this impeachment. Now, that would have taken courage. And that would have put Joe Biden into the history books. But he didn't do it. I don't think he's capable of doing it. I don't think he's a courageous man. I've never seen him do anything courageous. And I'm not an ideologue. I'm not coming at it from a party point of view or any of that. I'm going to give him a chance. But in his entire career, I have never seen him do anything courageous. Now, I might have missed it. And if you've seen it, please write to me, Bill at BillOReilly.com. 